Hello friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kids Animal Stories. Right now, I need you to smash the follow button. It could look like a plus sign or it might say follow. Well, smash that so you don't miss out on any of our stories. Today's story comes to us from Ariana. Hey Ariana, I am so excited for, to turn you into a tiger. Are you guys ready for an amazing adventure about a baby tiger named Ariana? Me too, let's go. Today was an exciting day. It was the day that Ariana was going to open her eyes for the very first time. Yes, she was about two weeks old and a very fluffy tiger cub. She lived with her parents in the jungle. And like I said, today was a very big day. Her mom had been looking forward to today. Because did you know that when tigers are born, when they're babies, well, they're called cubs, tiger cubs, and they're born blind. They don't open their eyes for two weeks. Wow. So it's very important that their mom tiger takes very good care of them and protects them because those baby tigers, they can't do anything while their eyes are closed. Well, today her eyes popped open and she looked around. Everything looked very blurry. She kept blinking her eyes and finally, oh wow, this world looks amazing. This was the first time that she saw where she lived. Tigers can live in a whole range of different habitats. They can live in swamps or grasslands and even rainforests. Ariana was a tiger that lived in Indonesia in the jungles. Whoa, that would be a really cool place to live. She couldn't wait to explore it all, but she needed to start homeschool. Wait a second, what? Tigers homeschool? Yes. Yes, their mom teaches them everything that they learn. What do you think are some really important things that baby tigers need to learn? Tigers are a species of cat, right? Yeah, they're called a big cat. They're much bigger than Flash or Blackjack, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, Ariana, what are some things that she needs to learn? She needs to learn how to stalk. Do you know what stalk means? Yeah, it's kind of like when they go hunting, they crawl on the ground, kind of on their bellies. Do you know how to do that? You have to get really low to the ground on your knees and your hands, and you crawl very low because you have to sneak up on the prey that you're about to capture. And sometimes they might be stalking and crawling through long grass or some bushes or the jungle. And so that's a really important skill that Ariana needs to learn. And so that takes a long time because sometimes she gets way too excited and just starts jumping and laughing. But can we laugh while we're stalking? No way, Ariana. No laughing while stalking. Check. Number one. All right. Got to learn how to stalk without laughing. Next. Uh, do tigers swim? I don't think so. Like they're a cat, so they must not swim, right? Oh, wait a second. It says they do swim. It says tigers are really great swimmers. What? So Ariana, are you going to learn how to swim? Well, let's jump into that part of the story because today is now one month after Ariana has opened her eyes and started homeschool. And, and so today is a really big day because her mom is taking her to go swimming for the very, very first time. All right, Ariana, it's time. We got to go swimming. Wow. Wow. Are you sure, Mom? Because I don't know if I want to get my fluffy fur all wet. That looks disgusting. Oh, you're going to love it, Ariana, said her mom. The two of them walked through the jungle towards the river. The river was not far. It was not big and deep. And it wasn't too fast. It was a perfect place to start to learn how to swim. They arrived at the river and Ariana's eyes were very, very large. Mom, are you sure about this? I don't know. I don't have flippers like fish. I don't have a, a tail like a, like a fish. And I'm not a fish. 
It's okay, Ariana. You don't have to be a fish to learn how to swim. Look. Her mom jumped into the water and Ariana couldn't believe it. Wow, you're a good swimmer, mom. This was the first time that Ariana had seen her mom go swimming before, and it was really impressive. Wow, you're fast. As Ariana's mom's paws paddled through the water, it kept her head above the water and she was able to swim right across the river. Wow, that does look kind of fun, said Ariana. Come on, Ariana, give it a try, jump in, said her mom from across the river. Ariana took a deep breath. All right, I can do this, I can do this. One, two, three. Ah! As she splashed into the water, her paws instantly started fluttering as fast as they could to try and swim. And she did it. Wow. It's like tigers are made to go swimming. It was just inside of her to know how to do that. Have you ever learned to swim before? Oh, swimming is super fun. And it's really important to learn how to swim just in case you accidentally fall into a river in the middle of a jungle in Indonesia like... Oh, wait, that's Ariana. Well, it's important for us to learn how to swim, but especially Ariana in the middle of an Indonesian jungle where there's rivers all over and she definitely needs to learn how to swim. Great job, Ariana. Come over on this side. As Ariana swam to the other side where her mom was, all of a sudden it started to rain. Oh my, where did this storm come from? Her mom said. Uh, we should probably get home, Ariana. Come on, let's go. But I, that was so awesome. We got to keep swimming. Ah, uh, there's always tomorrow when the storm is past. Let's, let's head home. Ariana's mom started walking back home, and all of a sudden, a giant lightning bolt crashed down in between them. Boom! Ah! Ariana got so afraid, she started running as fast as she could. (sighs) What in the world was that? (sighs) That was so scary! Ariana said, yes, that lightning bolt was very scary. Mom! Where are you? She shouted. Mom! Oh no. That lightning bolt caused Ariana to start running in the wrong direction. She was so afraid she didn't even know where she was going. And by the time she was able to look up and look around, she realized that she was not with her mom anymore. Oh no. What is Ariana going to do? Is she going to be able to use her tiger skills to find her way back home and to her mom? I don't know. I hope she does, but we'll have to wait and see on the next episode of Kids Animal Stories. Great job. You listened all the way to the end. And let's do some recap. All right. So Ariana is a tiger that lives in what country? Does she live in Germany or Indonesia? Yes, Indonesia. Great job. And what is a special creature skill that tigers can do? Can they bake cookies or learn how to swim? (laughs) I wish they could bake cookies. Well, they, yes, they learn how to swim. Well, friends, I will see you on our next adventure. Bye.